Once upon a time, employees would show up to work in the same company, in the same position, and at the same desk for the better part of their careers. If there was sub-movement, it was usually minimal. Fast forward to today, where workplaces are fast-paced, dynamic, and employees are constantly moving around. So, how do you manage this new workplace environment? Well, that's where my next guest comes in. Point Grab, which uses groundbreaking sensing technology to pioneer the next generation of office workspace optimization solutions. And here to tell us more about it is the CEO of Point Grab, Doron Shahal. Welcome. Hi. So let's jump right in. Can you tell me what do you do? What is Point Grab? Yeah, so um, interesting enough, you already uh, mentioned the, the problem that we're coming to solve. The service that we're providing our customers, our end customers, is the ability to actually manage smart buildings, actually tell you how many people, employees for that example, are in a certain space, mm -hmm. where they are located, and all of that without violating their privacy. So if you are Deloitte in London and you manage your headquarters of 25,000 square meters and you have roughly 3,000 employees that you need to place in your, uh, in your offices, you actually want to know and you want your employees to have the ability to enter the offices and find the best spot for them. And our technology allows them, and that's what they say, to actually place 30% more employees in 3% less space. So it, it's quite fascinating to see how many different use cases are being made with this technology, with this product itself. Mm -hmm. And can you tell me a little bit about where the idea came from? Yeah, so um, the company actually, uh, uh, was established over a decade ago, starting with a totally different technology that dealt with the gesture control for TV sets. Uh, actually, the, there's quite a good chance that if you have a, a, a Samsung TV in your house, part of the technology of gesture control, such as uh, raising the volume or lowering the volume, would be using Point Grub's uh, old technology. But about three or four years ago, this technology was no longer, had no longer uh, uh, any need in the market. Mm -hmm. So the company had to go and do a pivotal change, use some of the core technology, add to it a lot of layers and understand which need in the market we can answer. Mm -hmm. And then the ability to understand what smart buildings and smart offices need and they didn't have is what led us to this technology. Mm -hmm. Now you've brought with you the device, so can you show it? to us and maybe walk me through it. Let's say I'm an employer and I want to use this technology. How does it help me? Okay, so um, if you are either renovating your headquarters, building your new offices, or even trying to optimize your real estate usage, and you want to know what your employees uh, are doing in meeting rooms, not in the sense that who is there and what exactly is he seeing on his laptop, but how many people are in the meeting room. And you know that you have many meeting rooms and yet your employees are coming to you and your managers are telling you, we don't have enough of meeting space. You want the real data. And the real data using these sensors is very easy. You get not only the, the on, online data, but also reports per hour, day, week, or month. And then you can see in big organizations, for instance, and that is not surprising, that nearly half of the time, meeting rooms are empty. But you can also see that 25% of the time, there's only one person in a meeting room. And you may wonder why is that? And you need to understand that when more and more people are seated in open space and hot desking, when they want to make a phone call, they want a private spot. But do you really need a 10 man uh, um, meeting room for that or 12 men? No. You can provide them with phone booth that will be small, cozy, intimate, comfortable, private, save the time, save the energy, and allow those who actually need the meeting room access to the meeting room. So that's, even, that, that's just one need. Mm -hmm. And there are so many more. I mean, we're speaking about uh, smart buildings. But even today, in some of the smartest buildings in the world, how often would someone, excuse my language, clean the restrooms? Well, the question is, depends how much of budget you have. Maybe it will be once every two hours or once every one and a half hours. But actually, that's not the way it should be. So if you can pass an imaginary line outside of the restrooms and make sure that every count of, say, 30 times or 40 times, people have crossed that line, the cleaner of that floor will get an SMS to his mobile saying, go and clean the ladies' room on the 10th floor. That's a smart building for you. Mm -hmm. So you optimize also the way people are working in your facilities and offices. That would, by the way, go the same for restaurants who want to optimize the labor cost in their 
facilities. They want to understand how many people are actually in the restaurant to know when do they need more staff and when can they reduce staff. Mm -hmm. But that would go anywhere. That would go to hospitals, to, to emergency rooms, that would go to public transportation, that would go to schools and universities. Whenever you are, the ability to know how many people are in the space, mm -hmm. where they are, going into heat maps, queue management and all sorts of, of use cases, we can see the demand coming from everywhere. So this raises a question, for me at least, the issue of privacy. How do you handle that? It's, it's a great question for me because that's one of our differentiators that allows us to win so many of those bids. Because mm -hmm. actually there is a camera in the sensor, but the image itself is deleted on the sensor itself. It's called edge technology. It is not kept anywhere, neither it is communicated anywhere. So in terms of privacy, in terms of regulations, uh, uh, all sorts of certifications that are required, especially in Europe mm -hmm. this time, no problem at all. And I think the very fact that organizations in the scope of uh, Facebook or Deloitte or Lloyds have chosen this solution, and those are pretty much the strictest organizations in the world when it mm -hmm. comes to, to security and privacy, mm -hmm. I think that speaks for itself. Well, Dolan, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us today. Thanks for the opportunity. It was a pleasure.